Hey Swarmers, welcome back to The Hive. Today, we're going to look at climate change adaptation strategies. The World Health Organization estimates that global warming is responsible for the deaths of 150,000 people each year and contributes to 5 million human illnesses. And these figures are expected to double by 2030. So many organizations and governments are currently strategizing to equip us with the best ways to adapt to the effects of climate change. What exactly is a climate change adaptation strategy? These are plans developed to maintain and protect human health and the environment. Adaptation is a form of risk management and is best to be implemented as extensions to existing policies and infrastructure. Humans have a long history of adapting to changes in our climate. 7,000 years ago, in what was Mesopotamia, there is evidence of humans using irrigation to water crops in areas that had become much drier than previous seasons. As that change occurred over an extended period, adaptation was a much easier process. Now, we are building seawalls to protect against the future rise of the mean sea level and the impacts from hurricanes and tropical storms. But these proactive adaptation strategies are limited to our knowledge of future changes, the political will for action, and the public perception of the risk. National Adaptation Strategies, or NAS, are intended to inform and assist communities in identifying potential alternatives and offer possible ways to address anticipated climate risks. National Adaptation Plans, or NAP, are developed to anticipate, plan, and adapt to the changing climate. In February 2013, the EPA released its draft climate change adaptation plan to the public for review and comment. This plan relies on peer-reviewed scientific information and expert judgment to identify vulnerabilities to the EPA's mission and goals from climate change. The plan also presents 10 priority actions that the EPA will take to ensure that its programs, policies, rules, and operations will remain effective under future climatic conditions. The four strategic focus areas, air, water, waste, and public health contain over 150 actions that are intended to inform and assist communities in identifying potential alternative strategies, although not all actions are appropriate in all circumstances. The EPA also provides tools, training, and help with green financing. To date, 25 EU member states have adopted NASs. In addition, 15 EU member states have developed NAPs. Only Bulgaria, Croatia, Latvia, Iceland, and Liechtenstein are yet to adopt a plan. And what about the most vulnerable developing countries? The United Nations Environment Programme, or UNEP, has implemented over 50 projects on climate change adaptation at global, regional, and national levels for 40 countries. These projects cover four priority areas. Ecosystem-based adaptation, implementing projects that utilize biodiversity and ecosystem services as part of a holistic adaptation strategy. Knowledge, analysis, and networking, spreading vital adaptation knowledge through well-connected global networks. World Adaptation Science Program, providing an interface between the adaptation research community and decision makers. National Adaptation Plans, or NAPs, supporting countries to advance their national adaptation plan process. The countries participating in the UN Global Support Plan can be seen on this map. The majority of our globe is now preparing for our climate crisis. So, what are some of the strategies? Conservation of ecosystems as they adapt to a warmer climate. Agriculture adaptation as hotter, drier climate supports different crops. And planning for food and water shortages. Additional support for less developed countries that will suffer from poverty, conflict, and poor health refugee support for migrants fleeing the worst affected areas, vaccine and medicine stockpiling, 
infrastructure planning for cities, technological solutions like renewable energy advancements or housing insulation, regulatory strategies such as energy efficiency requirements and green city initiatives, flood defenses from weather and rising sea levels, but rather than only continuing to plan and strategize our adaptation to climate change, we do need to come together to minimize the changes to our climate and global warming. Innovation and systemic changes are vital to this. Research whether your local or national administrators have such plans in place and hold them accountable if they're not rigid enough or if they don't even have a plan by using your vote. Check out the resources in the description below and like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for joining us, Swarmers, and we will see you next time.